A man is facing charges tonight after police say he drove a semi tractor trailer truck straight into a Kroger supermarket. <laughs> What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button whenever you pull up to the channel. And while you at it, hit that post notification button for your boy so whenever I drop, you can hop up in the truck and roll with me. See what's poppin'. How everybody doing today, fam? It's Wednesday, it's hump day, we halfway down. We handling our business, we getting it done. Y'all already know y'all in my prayers. You know, I'll make sure I pray for y'all each and every day. Let's go on and get through with the week so we can get on to the weekend, get home to the family, kick up our feet and chill. There's something I wanna share with you guys real quick. Every story that we do is a lesson. It has a lesson in it. So be aware and take heed so that we all can learn from that lesson and get our blessing. And this is mainly to the new truckers, also the veterans. You know, so don't be discouraged by our stories. Be encouraged because you can learn something from them, which is the whole purpose. Every lesson is a blessing, M2T. Don't forget that. Remember that. All right, before we get started, you guys, there's something else I want to share with you. We have a trucker that went missing April the 15th, 2024. Today's the 17th, so he's been missing for two nights. I wanna share with you all some of the information that's been provided to us via his family. Hey, Missouri could use your help locating my cousin, Josh Luttrell. None has heard from him since 415, and he was supposed to make it home the morning of 416. Last seen wearing a black shirt and STL Cardinals cap. Facial hair is longer than pictured. Let me know if you spot him or his truck or you can call Wentzville, Missouri PD at 636-327-5105. Last known location was Jefferson City. That is the one of our trucker brothers has been missing you guys since 415. I need y'all to pay close attention to Josh and his truck you guys and if you spot him anywhere in Missouri truckers anywhere please make sure you call the Winsville Missouri Police Department all right Josh he's somebody's son you know he's he has a wife he's a husband you know very much loved by his family and they're very concerned about his whereabouts, which my family would be concerned about me if the if the shoe was on the other foot. So make sure y'all look at Josh Pitcher good and his truck. And if you spot him, make sure you guys make that call. All right, I appreciate y'all, M2T. And we are about to get into today's story, but before we do, we're going to have a few words from our partners. So we'll be back after these messages. What's up, M2T fam? Merch is available now. We have styles for the men and the ladies. Visit our catalog and check out our inventory. What you waiting for? Go to MarriedToTrucking.store. Vicious scammers are constantly seeking and lurking to steal your identity from the internet. Our partners Aura specializes in protecting your social security number, passwords, and emails by sending you an alert in real time when your information is compromised. So click on the link in the description box below and go to Aura.com slash to Trucking to sign up for a free, yes, free 14-day trial. Trust me, you won't regret it. Hey, Run, now back to the story. Recently, Truck drivers has been committing acts and displaying behaviors that has been making a lot of truckers wonder who would do such things. Such as the trucker that just drove his truck into the Texas DPS office. 
or even the trucker that recently just walked up to another trucker and shot him in the face. Things like this is what makes us question what the hell is going on with these truckers? What are they thinking? Which brings us to today's story. Wednesday, April the 10th, 2024 at 11.30 p.m., 42-year-old trucker Clarence Carter, a native of Nashville, Tennessee, went to shop at a Milliton, Tennessee grocery store right outside of Memphis. What took place upon him arriving at that store is unbelievable. Check this out. Thank God, M2T, that no one was hurt. This trucker did, did all of this at 11.45 p.m. at night. He did this at 11.45 p.m. He's supposed to be trucking or resting, but instead, he and Kroger's acting a damn fool. Memphis Local News, WREG, published a report. Y'all know how we do. We like to read the reports because they give us a little bit more information about what's going on, all right? Boom. Y'all see that? All right. Let's go down through that, M2T. Truck driver intentionally crashes into Tennessee grocery store. Memphis, Tennessee. A man intentionally crashed a semi-truck into a Kroger grocery store in Tennessee Tuesday night, according to authorities. Police said the driver identified as 45-year-old Clarence Carter from Nashville entered the store in Millington just before midnight and created a disturbance. He then left, got into his truck, and allegedly drove through the entries. Mm. The Militant Fire Department said Carter was attempting to leave the scene when officers arrived. He was removed from the vehicle and taken into custody. We had to dismantle the truck to get the truck out of the building, said Militant Public Safety Director Gary Graves. Employees were inside the store, but none of them were injured. Carter was taken to Regional One for medical evaluation. He is in custody and charged with two counts of aggravated assault, vandalism, and resisting arrest. Our police department is doing some further investigation to see if the truck was stolen, Graves said. We're looking into that because we have reports that a truck may have been stolen out of Memphis. So we're looking into those aspects of it and looking at what kind of history he may have had also. Carter is set to be in court on Thursday. Mm. What the hell is going on, M2T? We have to make this make we we got to make it make sense. So what I say from this day forward, M2T, is allegedly. It is my opinion, you guys. All right. First thing we want to do is look at this guy. Boom. <laughs> How you looking, them two T? Looking like he looking. And how is that? Like a damn fool. You can't make it up. M2T. They say this guy intentionally crashed into this grocery store. What kind of vibes is that giving you guys? What kind of what kind of what is what kind of vibes, you know, is this just a damn fool? Is is it giving you mental? You know, what kind of vibes is this giving y'all, M2T? They say this dude intentionally crashed this truck into Kroger's. At 11.45 p.m. Let's not forget that. So he goes in, creates a disturbance, allegedly. At damn near 12 at midnight. And hold on, let me say this. What who what kind of disturbance can you create at t almost 12 o'clock at midnight? Make me understand that. It's the next day. What kind of disturbance could this dude possibly been creating, M2T? And I say, he entered the store, right? He he goes into Kroger's. Do Kroger's even stay? I didn't even know Kroger stayed open that long. I don't know too many. I think Walmart and Texas, I think they closed at 11 p.m. Kroger's still open at 12. That's crazy. 
Then he tried to leave before the police arrived. Fire departments had to, you know, allegedly, probably have to put him in a chokehold. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, man. Sit down somewhere, idiot. You done came in this store and then did all it and then messed up the whole damn store. Then he said, and he trying to leave. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get some bananas. I'm trying to do me some shopping them too, T. I'm just saying in general, like anybody that was in the store at that time doing. You know, probably getting some last minute stuff. A lot of people like to go to the store at nighttime because it ain't a lot of commotion and stuff going on, you know. And here it is. I see a whole 18 wheeler come through the front of this store. Glass everywhere. She rock everywhere. You know, metal and steel flying, food flying everywhere. I done got hit upside the head with dairy cakes or something. And the whole damn 18 wheeler is this side of this store. And it's this damn fool. Now, they trying to say that he stole the truck, M2T. Allegedly. Because they got a report that a truck was missing, uh, be, had been stolen out of Memphis. So they looking and investigating to see if this dude was the one that stole the truck and came back to the store. Kind of like the last case that we covered with the trucker that ran into the DPS office, allegedly. Say so he went and stole the truck that was nearby where he stayed and ran it. So if that what truckers doing that's after acting the damn fool, they stealing trucks and running it into stuff? Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. And they say that um they took him to regional one for medical for a medical evaluation. But did they evaluate his damn <laughs> I gotta run my ball head, man. <laughs> you can't make it up, M2T. You can't make this stuff up. Did they evaluate his damn mind, man? Why they evaluating some stuff? So, mental illness is real, M2T. You know, you know, I I I I cover these stories. You know what I'm saying? And I shoot the stuff with y'all. You know, make it make it make no mistake. It ain't no laughing matter. But when you got damn fools like this, man, it, it's 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 comical almost. It's unbelievable. Like who does that? You know, so get in them comments, hit that like button, M2T. Let me know what it is you guys are thinking about this situation, man. This 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 is ridiculous. Shout out to the subscribers. We appreciate you guys, man. Um, appreciate the the support that you guys been doing. We appreciate you guys that just been pulling up. I'm at work. I'm getting loaded. So if y'all see my camera shake a little bit, don't pay it no mind. You know, we appreciate you guys. Shout out to the ones that's been getting a free 14-day trial from Aura. We appreciate that. Thank you for that support. Um, go get your free 14 day trial from Aura. Stop leaving your passwords and your emails and all of that stuff. Stop leaving it, you know, unprotected. You know, go get your free 14 day trial if nothing else, M2T, and try it out. See if you like it. Shout out to the ones that's been getting their merch. We appreciate that. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for that love and that support. Uh, I gotta even shout out my, my fam that's been, you know, donating and supporting and sending us cash outs and zills and super things. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And y'all already know, until next time, it's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around.